ladies, welcome back. So today we're talking about synastry again. And uh, the aspect that I've chosen for this video is Mercury square Chiron. What do we get when we have one person's Mercury um, in a square with the other person's Chiron? Well, let me tell you, this is not necessarily the most gentle pairing. It can be a pairing that brings up a lot of um, conflict, but not necessarily conflict as in we butt heads, we, you know, physical conflict, but verbal conflict. And if it's not conflict, as in screaming aggression, all of that, it is going to be um, mental stress. And that mental stress goes both ways. We also though, and that is so important, and this is like probably the most important part of this video, we also have a unique opportunity to heal, to heal unconscious um, and unhealthy childhood patterns with and through that relationship. Now, Again, this may come about in ways that aren't as gentle as we would like them to be. Uh, there can be a lot of like um, barking and barking, I'm, I'm saying barking because I don't mean aggress uh, aggressive screaming at each other, which it can be a thing also, but it's more, probably more barking because we, have, we don't have Mars involved, unless we have Mars in a difficult aspect, then yes. Then the, the, they can be screaming and aggression, but this is more like a barking and kind of like a, um, we feel, we feel less than. And it's, it's gotta go both ways. However, I think the Chiron person will have a stronger sense of it. The Chiron person will feel like, okay, I'm not as smart as the Mercury person. I don't know as much. I, I, I'm not sure I'm actually deserving of that person because I am mentally not as developed. And when I say developed, I mean, I have all the capacities, but I haven't developed those. And this is where the beauty comes in because the Mercury person can help us develop these capacities that then make us feel more confident. But we will probably first go through a phase of I feel less than, I don't feel worthy, I don't feel um, good enough. I, I also, shame is probably going to be a bit of a, um, a manifestation of this as well. Um, and again, because energies flow both ways, there is a part of the Mercury person that will feel that too. The Mercury person is not gonna sit there thinking, oh my God, I just know more and I'm better than, this person, why don't they, why are they not smart enough? Why don't they think around the corner? Why don't they this and that? There might be times when the American person thinks that, but on a very, very fundamental level, the Mercury person will also have and reflect that feeling of the Chiron person, that feeling of, there's a part of me that isn't good enough. That not good enough feeling is going to be very strong because both people are healing their, their Chiron energies, right? Their Chiron energies, their energies of like, um, you know, not feeling deserving, not feeling good enough, um, not allowing myself to have what I want, not allowing myself to fully live the life I want to live. This is going to be a big theme here because we have the mental capacity of one person, right? The, the structural thinking mind. Um, and then we have that, that part of us, that unconscious part that always feels there's something wrong with us. We don't really know what it is, but there's something wrong. Now, when we have these two come together, we, we have a big opportunity to connect the dots for ourselves, to, to, um, further the healing process in a, um, in a very extensive way. The healing for both people, healing our inner child is a big topic here, big topic and a beautiful topic because again, we can make it, we can, we have the opportunity to make the unconscious conscious through, you know, 
the, I, I say quote unquote pain we feel. Um, the pain is probably got to be mostly mental and probably also emotional, right? That emotional mental pain that kind of uh, keeps us in a, in a loop, in this kind of loop of not being enough, not doing enough, not having enough, not, not enoughness. And with Mercury, we can make this conscious. And the Mercury person is, I'm not saying the Mercury person is responsible to, to, to initiate all of this, but because the Mercury person probably very likely sees everything a little clearer, the Mercury person sees, okay, we can heal this. The Mercury person has more of a conscious understanding of what is going on. Doesn't mean that the Chiron person doesn't, um, doesn't sense it too, but it's harder for the Chiron person to make it fully conscious. It, the Chiron person would probably need the Mercury person to help them make it conscious through, you know, challenges because again there's this square here so this is not an easy pairing i would like i would see this as a as a beautiful aspect to have actually i know this doesn't it, well, everything i just described didn't sound like that but i think this can really really help us to to get to 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 chip away on the deeper layers of our own feeling of worthiness where we you know where we chip away the layers of we are not worthy, we're not feeling worthy, we're not feeling deserving, how can we have that, who are we to have that, you know, all, all, all that stuff can really become conscious in this relationship. And this is where I would, if you have this asset where I would hone in, even if you tell me I'm the Chiron person and maybe I'm not seeing it like that, well, I just told you how to utilize this aspect. So maybe you can allow yourself, maybe you can now tap into that energy in a different way because when someone tells us about something, the, the, the awareness can go there now. Like we can just go there now and look at it from that perspective. And so maybe this video can help you as the Chiron person or of course the Mercury person to, to, to utilize this aspect in a, in a way to become more aware about become more aware of your own patterns, your unhealthy patterns that you bring into the relationship and that cause friction. And then you can take them back to you and dismantle them within you. And again, the, this process is not a process of like, and then it's dismantled. It generally is a process that, process that takes time because we live in a time-space reality, right? We don't, often in the spiritual community, what happens is, we forget or we want to just dismiss that we live in a time-space reality because, you know, we are divine beings and we can just live the way we want to. Yes, we can and no, we can't. Because, again, we are divine beings that came into a physical body, into a physical reality that is living based on a time-space model time space reality and within that time space reality we get to give ourselves the time and we're not looking at it from the perspective of okay it's going to take uh, five days and three hours no time as in allow things to unfold within you and do what you know to do to get there to help yourself right if it's meditation if it's daily walks in the park if it's if it's just you spending time on your own three times a week, whatever it is for you, but do it consistently to become more aware of these patterns and to um, help yourself reframe things for yourself. If it means for you, if, if, if that means reading a book, listening to certain videos, listening to certain meditations, do utilize certain tools like EMDR or other techniques to help you reframe and rewire, whatever it is, utilize it. But this is an aspect that can, you know, 
push you towards that and then you have but then you still have to understand that it's up to you to do the inner work all right let's leave it here if you have any questions about this aspect if you want a personal reading if you want to see how things work in your synastry chart or in your birth chart please feel free to click on the link in the description box and box and book your reading uh, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on, -one on a coaching basis you can also inquire by sending me a message or booking directly and yeah anything else i'm here for you and i wish you a beautiful day